This walk through the heart of campus is the slowest part of Addison McKinney's day. After classes, I will go over to the office. I'll pick up a couple door knocking packets. I'll go talk to people out in the community. She's balancing schoolwork and a dream job working for Elizabeth Warren's campaign. I'm very tired and I'm probably going to sleep for like a whole <laughs> week afterwards, but it, I wouldn't trade it for the world. It's great. The president of the St. Ambrose College Democrats says the 2020 prospects have pinpointed her peers as the key to victory in a crowded caucus. But history tells us here in Iowa that looking to young people might not be the best strategy. It's not as if the entire student body drops everything to go to one of these events. Political science professor Dr. Bill Parsons says it's a lot more complicated than that, both the caucus and the attendees. The Iowa caucus, you're gonna, you could potentially be there for two hours and you have to be there from that window, like from seven to nine. It's a real time commitment. And college students don't exactly have a lot of time, so candidates are coming to them. With no clear front runner, they keep stopping by, making pitches directly to students. With all the candidates reaching out towards you and not necessarily your parents anymore, especially like when you get to meet them face to face, they're like, oh, great, like they're super excited to meet you. Yet this campus is a unique one. It's one of the few Catholic campuses in the state. And although students may be enthused, the campus minister says many are torn. I can see that kind of wrestling match going on a little bit in their hearts and in their minds. Uh, they don't fit neatly a category. For example, here's what students told Currents News they care about most. Immigration, health care, climate change, and LGBT rights. All social issues the Catholic Church feels strongly about. That's a gift from God, you know, and so, I mean, I think to, to use that wisely is something very Catholic. For Catholics, like citizens, it's both a responsibility and a duty. 1,000 New Yorkers are the equivalent of one Iowa voter. They're from Illinois. Ryan Sandness, born and raised in Illinois, is just realizing what really weighs on the shoulders of his friends born and raised in Iowa. There will be caucus sites where there will be like 50 people show up. There will be others where there will be 1,000. The young vote may have the biggest impact in the smallest precincts. One thing Addison realizes, if she can convince her friends to caucus, she can double the population and effectively carry the caucus. Inform yourself, take this to prayer, and make the best vote that you possibly can according to your conscience. Many believe it will rival Iowa's 2008 record that saw unprecedented numbers of first-timers who showed up to propel Barack Obama to victory. Michelle Powers, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.